Welcome to another Streamer Bot Tips video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can let your mods control your stream by using Streamer Bot actions. So I'm sure someone you know has been there and forgot to end stream and only noticed it for a few minutes or perhaps hours after it supposedly ended. Well, it would be great to have a mod to be able to send a command and just end the stream for you. So let's do that. Let's create an action called end stream and then group it. I will call the group mod commands. Let's then right click into the sub actions, choose OBS and then click on OBS streaming. Let's change the state to stop and then click on OK. I might as well have a Twitch message to let us know when the stream is about to end. So the action is done. Let's go into the commands tab and create a command. I'm going to name this end stream. For the location, I can pick either start, exact, or anywhere, but I'm going to choose exact, which means they have to type this command exactly how I have defined it. We can also create a group called mod commands so we can keep our command list tidy. Now we have the permissions area. We need to select allow all, but don't leave the allowed list empty because that means by default, everyone who chats in my stream will be able to enter this command and that wouldn't be a good idea. So we can just either allow the moderator to enter this command or we can have it set for individual users. Let's choose play and catch up and maybe let one of my VIPs also be able to do the same. I will choose physics shebang. Let's then tie the action to the command and untick ignore bot account because I want to be able to use the command myself as well. Click on OK. Let's test to see if it works. Awesome. Okay, let's say a permitted user decides to be a bit of a troll and tries to end stream when I don't want him to. We need a way to cancel the end in stream action. So back to Streambot. And let's create a delay to give us some time to react to cancel it. Then we are going to create our own global variable under core globals global get. Let's set the variable name to end in stream and have the value as on. I don't think we need persisted, so I'm going to untick that. Then you'll need to create a global get and have the variable name as end in stream and default value set to on. Make sure you untick persisted. Make sure you move the sub actions back in order like how I have done here. Let's copy the global variable sub action we created and then create another action called cancel end stream. Paste the sub action and then change the value to off. Let's also add a message as well. Now we need the end stream action to do another check of the global variable to confirm if its value is set as on, then continue the action. But if it's set to off, then do not proceed any further, meaning it won't stop streaming. If you watched the last episode, you will know we will need to create an if else logic. So create that and then add the end and stream variable name, change the operator to not equals and the value to on. Then we need to break it. But on the else condition, we will continue. Click on OK and then drag the sub action above OBS stop streaming so that it is run in order. Let's create the command for the cancel end stream action. You can see here what I have entered and I have only allowed playing catch up the permission to cancel the end stream. Before we test, let me set the delay to 5 seconds just so I don't have to wait too long to test. I will test with end in stream first to see if it ends in 5 seconds. Which it does. Then I'm going to test with exclamation mark cancel. And you can see my stream hasn't ended. So I could end the video here, but let's do something else for our wonderful mods. Let's give them the ability to change my scene. So for example, if I quickly need to go to a toilet break, but forget to change my scene, then we'll need a mod to change the scene for me. I will create an action called be right back. Then in the sub actions, we need streamer bot to get the variable of what scene I am in. So choose get current scene under OBS. Then let's do an if else logic and put current scene as the variable operators not equals value as be right back and then continue, but change the else condition to break because if I'm already on the be right back scene, we do not need this action to do anything further. Then we can set the active scene as be right back by going to OBS scenes and set active scene. I also did the same thing for switching to my game scene because maybe I have come back from my toilet break but forgot to change back from my be right back scene. Okay, let's create the commands for these actions. I won't go through the creation process, but for this, I allowed all moderators to be able to run these commands. Now let's test it. 
and that's it. If you have something you think a mod can help you with, then I'm sure StreamerBot can do it for you. I am not currently streaming on Twitch anymore due to personal commitments, but definitely give these two a follow if you're looking for a chill place to hang out. So if you like this video, give it a like, and don't forget to subscribe if you want more of these videos in the future. But as always, stay awesome, stay safe, and stay breathtaking.